the, the friendly rivalry, of course, the, the, the love triangle going on between you and you, dolls with Winona. Mm -hmm. You're still kind of snarking at each other, you know, mm -hmm. here and there. Uh, is, is there an open order, you think? Do you want to see it go a certain way with your relationship with her? Do you feel you're better with her as friends or as lovers? Or well, I mean, it's, it's tough. We're in, a, we're in an interesting spot. We had a, a daughter together, and we sent that daughter away, and I don't think Doc's going to deal with that quite as, what's the word, maybe maturely as one on her well. Uh, he doesn't deal with things great. <laughs> Play a different kind. He, that, I, I also think we underplay that. We forget about that. I feel bad for Doc sometimes because he is the only character from out of time. And it can't be easy and it must be lonely. Um, maybe we'll see him meet someone from his time that he could relate to. Maybe we already have. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, you know? Go we'll talk a little about the new book you're working on with him. Can you go into that stuff? I would say nothing, but if Bo said it, then that's great. Bo said it. Uh, yeah, Black Rock. Yes, so that's great. Uh, yeah, so if anybody knows, last year I got to uh, co-write Season Zero with him, uh, and that was the highlight probably of my life. I mean, Legends was one, but writing Season Zero and really being a part of, from day one, the story and creating what story we were going to do, and kind of like this big action thing we wanted to do that we were both fans of, uh, and try to write this book, uh, was amazing. So then to get to do it again, uh, I'm chomping at the bit, I'm ready. We've already actually written quite a bit. We're just waiting for the full green to freaking get going. You said you're trying to import some stuff back to the show, too. Pretty much. I mean, you know what's funny is that the actually opening scene of uh, season three with Hot and Waverly in the sniper nest, uh, with the, you know what I mean? That was from season two. Just saying. Just saying. I remember writing that screen. That <laughs> um, so yeah, it's super cool that they kind of can, can play, play and mesh with each other. The good thing is, is like, normally when we're, whenever we're writing the book, now I come in so fresh off the show, so I'm already so in it that it's so easy to stay in it, and I get to stay in it a little longer, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Is, is it still a thrill after all these years to be playing Doc? Because I, I know he's all I want to do. Viewers, so. <laughs> I don't think it's ever going to go away. Uh, uh, you know, I've been on other shows, and I'm working on other shows, and leaving here, and going to start a new show in a week. Uh, and I'm sure it'll be great, but it won't be Doc Holliday on Winona. And I know that. Uh, and I just, I don't know, I just love playing this character. Uh, Always. Always. Nothing is there not for a reason. I mean, if you watched uh, uh, last night's premiere, you noticed, not too many people noticed that Doc had a bandage on his hand because we didn't talk about it. But it's also his pistol hand. It's the world's fastest gun slinger with a bandage on his hand. It wasn't talked about, then there's a mazillion other little ones that are in there, but everything is there for a reason. And I think now in season three, Emily's aware of that, that how smart the audience has gotten, that she's going to stick in more. If you don't notice, well, you're not going to be as lucky as me spelling it out for you, <laughs> you know, because there's so many more that are there. Can you tease a little bit about Doc's relationship with uh, I can't really say too much about, uh, I, I'll say this, we don't get enough scenes together. Uh, I, I like, uh, you know, last year, Waverly is, she's great for Doc when they're around, because he can be such a numbskull sometimes, and Waverly is just so pure, and she's so good, that she can ground even, even the old stubborn cowboy. So I think we, we need more of it to kind of, especially this year, because Doc ain't going to deal too well with things this year, so I hope so. Can you talk about Doc's real love interest, Jeremy, uh, in that relationship? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, listen, I, so I absolutely love it, and people should know, um, you know it's, it's great, because season three, all the guys actually have mustaches now. Uh, but Jeremy uh, has a mustache, and obviously it's an ode to Doc, and I love that the one person who doesn't say anything about the mustache is Doc. He doesn't even talk about it. Uh, but that was Varun's choice, was to grow that mustache, which I also thought was great. Uh, that he loved it. I love their relationship, uh, and we will, we will see them together. Uh, 
Well, in, in, <laughs> in, in, there, in, in, in certain capacities. So, was the first time you saw uh, his mustache on set? Or? Of course. Okay. That was that was Varun's choice. He had a beard. You know, he came to set with a beard, but he had been like traveling India, so it made sense. Yeah, traveling India, you're gonna grow a beard and live out of a backpack. So that's when I saw him. That's what he, you know what I mean? And I didn't think of it. And then on set, I showed up to set, and there he was, son of a gun, with the mustache and the thing. And the good news is, is that like after a week, he's like, I hate this. How do you do this? And I'm like, yeah, well, imagine it's eight months of the year for me, man. Uh, that, you know, so it's like... In that first episode, we did get revisited in front of the ducks from the past. Mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, change um, but we're, we're going to explore that a little more with where she, how she fit into her life and how she fit in. I think it'd be pretty stupid for us to bring in a character as amazing as Countessa and not explore, uh, go down the road with her a little bit, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, plus I love vampires, I always have, so see what happens.